Hi, and welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name's Carmen, and today we're going to do a general reading. We'll see whatever uh, spirit has in store for us. A little wind chime time. Thank you for your patience. If you've been waiting for another video from me, I ran into some issues on the technology front, and I think now we're all set. Uh, I also had time to acquire some additional tarot decks, so I'm going to show those to you real quick. I just got the Celestial Tarot. I think that's what it is. Yep. Uh, so kind of a galaxy theme with more of a symbol uh, for the artwork. And then I also picked up the Black Tarot, which, <laughs> fitting for its name, has more of a black noir theme to it, so a little more halloween -y or macabre, which I'm sure some of you out there know I'm a big fan of. So I'm excited to use those. And then I also wanted to, oh, so for the Celestial Tarot, thank you, Anna. She gifted those to me for my birthday. And then for these awesome templates, uh, John, thank you. He made me a whole collection of these things. And let me show you my favorite one. This is Death. I don't know how well you can see it. But I don't know. I just think it's so beautiful. So you can hear it's like kind of hard, but perfect to set a tarot deck on. So I don't have to worry about like if beverage spills on a countertop or something, they're raised up a little bit. Anyways, let's get started here. I'm going to figure out what we've got going on in terms of the people or the energies at play, and then we'll figure out what kind of situation we've got going on as well. It's just a little premature, so. All right, Spirit, what do we have? <laughs> the Moon, one of my favorite cards because, of course, Pisces. Uh, and I also just showed you the moon template that I just got. So we could be dealing with a Pisces or we could be dealing with a secret. Or both. So let's see. What else do we need to know about the secret? <laughs> so... I actually started another video and had to stop it because there was a loud noise outside that was insane. And so I'm giggling over here because we've got the same cards coming out in a different deck that I had in the first part that I just recorded, which is uh, the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. And the combo of these two cards is telling me that we've got somebody who has decided to put the burdens down, move forward towards what it is that they want. Eight of Pentacles is a plan or working towards mastery on something. So I think this person, whoever has the secret to reveal, they've decided to let go of the fear or the anxiety, whatever was holding them back before, and they're going to uh, take action. So, Spirit, who is the feminine energy in this story? And remember when we're talking about feminine or masculine, that we all embody feminine and masculine energies, so a king of cups could actually be uh, a female. Um, not to mention, there's more than just uh, man and woman out there, so I want to make sure that we're all aware that we got to take what resonates and make sure that it makes sense um, for your life, as these are general, okay? So we've got the Six of Swords coming out. That's saying uh, moving to smoother waters. So whatever has been very difficult... That's in the past. The worst of it is done. We're focused on the horizon. There are better things coming our way. There she is. And we've got the Four of Wands. So Four of Wands can uh, quite often refer to a wedding or a marriage or some sort of celebration like that. 
However, in this uh, situation, I think our feminine energy here is maybe in the midst of a glow up or having, you know, a decent number of blessings that have come through. So uh, she's coming through as the Four of Wands. So if you've had kind of a rough go of it and then things are finally starting to go your way, this might be for you. All right, and then for our masculine energy, we've got the Knight of Cups. So I don't know if you can tell, but at the top of the card right here, we've got kind of an invisible cup. That's perfect for the Knight of Cups. It's a great illustration because the Knight of Cups is definitely a masculine energy that has some emotion, but they might be pretty indecisive and going back and forth. Again, speaking to that idea of fear or anxiety that has held them back until this point. All right, let's put the Tattoo Tarot down for now, and we'll break out the Black Tarot to get a little bit more insight here. Tell me more about the uh, Four of Wands energy, please. Okay, so we've got Page of Swords and Eight of Wands. These cards are <laughs> interesting. So what I'm getting from these two cards is that the spotlight is on this feminine energy. So Eight of Swords, sorry, Eight of Wands is action or messages. It can also be like chit chat, you know, gossip, maybe positive. And then Page of Swords is like somebody who's maybe doing some online stalking or research, but in general, this is kind of coming across to me as somebody here is in the spotlight. They're known and they might have kind of uh, a little bit of a following. Such different art on these cards. I'm really enjoying them, but they definitely differ hugely from the Rider weight. so be patient with me. Uh, and then they swap out the pentacles and replace that with spheres. All right, let's uh, I want to know more. What is the secret? Hmm. Ace of Spears, just as I was telling you guys, I wanted to make sure you knew what that was before it came out. <laughs> so I'm guessing some of you out there watch enough tarot to know that aces in general are seen as divine blessings or gifts. And this particular situation is speaking of stability to me. So there's this offer or this opportunity at a new beginning, which is stable. All right, so I'm not going to keep these, but I do think that it informs us a little bit on the situation at hand. We've got the tower, the hermit, and strength. Whoever this is, I believe more on the masculine side, the Knight of Cups, we had a tower moment that brought everything down. Everything came crashing down that was an illusion or, um, yeah, really just an illusion. Anything that maybe this Knight of Cups was trying to convince himself of or maybe that other people were trying to convince him of, it's gone now. And he's taken time, the Hermit, to really think to himself, make sure that he's not being influenced by people that are trying to sabotage him or don't really care about him. And then we've got the strength card. It's a beautiful progression. I'm big on progression. And the reason that this is amazing is because we've got somebody learning a lesson here. So this is somebody who realizes that they did something wrong and they now have to have strength to right the wrongs and go down the path they should have chosen the first time. Three of Spheres just popped out. 
that's a card of collaboration. So it could mean that this person is relying on friends. Maybe not a lot of them. Uh, you have to be discerning when you deal with this kind of thing, right? But with this plan, he's not the only one involved in it. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups, please. Who is this Knight of Cups? 